Okay, let's do a quick tour of your media library. And um, so it'll be right up here in the top left hand corner when you log in. So to add any elements, and by the way, this is where all of the images, logos, Excel documents, PDF documents, things like that, that you want to make available on your website, it's where they will reside. So let's say we want to add a new element to our media library, make it available. So we can go right here and we can go ahead and select a file on our uh, on our website. So we'll uh, maybe we'll choose this this PDF document right here and um, Alternatively, you can reach over and just drag things onto, onto the page and it'll automatically populate right down here. And now they are a part of your media library. So clicking on any of these elements, we can go in. This one happens to be a video. And we've got some different elements here. So we've got the URL for the video. So anytime you need to link to the video, you can come and grab the URL and put it onto your website. There's different elements that'll ask for the URL. Or let's say you have a PDF document and you want somebody to be able to download it so they can fill it out. Um, you can do that. You can upload the PDF document, grab the link, and then go and create a link on your web page and give them the opportunity to download it. Okay, so these are the characteristics of your media elements. If we go to, let's say, an image, there's one element right here called the alt text. And uh, the, what alt text is, is that's the information that tells search engines what the image is all about. Search engines don't see images like we do. So we have to tell search engines that this is Stacy Smith, um, executive director at your company. And that way search engines will know that that's who that is. And that way that image can come up in search results and that way search engines don't see a void there. Hey, there's a, this object, there's this image, but we have no idea what it is. So that's the point of alt text. All of your images on your site should have some alt text that just describes what the image is. Okay. So that's what we've got in our media library. There's going to be a, a lot of, um, a lot of times where you're called on, on this information, obviously. And um, so if you've got a number of pictures that you know you're going to have up on your website, you can upload them here. Um, the, the one consideration with images is that you need to watch how big they are, how dense they are. So this is a large image, it's 1500 by 1000. And you can see the file size is 205 kilobytes, which is large. We always try to shoot for you know, that's about the maximum that we want. That's probably for a background image. Uh, image resolutions for web are usually recommended at 72 um, bits per inch, um, and or pixels per inch, I should say. Uh, anything more dense, the image is going to be overkill, and it's just going to take your pages a long time to refresh. So when you add new images, Make sure you size them appropriately. Don't make them any bigger than they need to be and don't make them any higher resolution than they need to be. So sometimes it'll be a little trial and error, but it's worth working on because otherwise your website will become bloated and slow when these images get to be too heavy, okay? So that is our media library. You can, uh, you can view them by these icons or this list form and you can see who the author is, you can see where they've been uploaded to and when, and you can delete them and those sorts of things. You can view them, edit them, and uh, this is where you manage all your media.